we are excited about all things equine, especially because of events like the Shinkatee Pony Swim that happened just last week. Mm -hmm. But there's a whole lot more that horses are capable of that maybe we don't even know about. Yeah, one woman in her lock does know that and is teaching it to her community and letting them experience it for themselves. Delmira Lice Katie Zarelli brings us to Courageous Hearts Horsemanship, where time in and around the barn is making lives better. Horses are big, beautiful animals, and they can do so much more for the human soul than we realize. And that's what Courageous Hearts Horsemanship here in Herlock is all about. They have the ability to kind of take you outside of yourself, take you outside of what you've got going on in your life on um, an emotional and um, emotional realm, and then also physically. Annie Trice has seen her steeds help, heal, and offer hope. First in her own life. Horses for me have got me through moving from Western Pennsylvania to college. I took my horses with me. Uh, when I moved down here, I brought them with me, and they've been a, um, a consistency in my life. And then in the lives of others. She started Courageous Hearts Horsemanship a few years ago. The nonprofit's mission is to offer activities for all types of people who might benefit from having an equine friend. You get to see what they can do for somebody else, what mobility they can give to somebody else. Um, just the, the smiles. We've had riders that are nonverbal but are laughing and smiling the whole time. She encourages both adults and children with a wide variety of special needs to consider visiting. She's seen her helping hoofs make a difference on physical and emotional levels, whether through riding or time on the ground. We have a couple riders that can't express themselves very well emotionally, but with the horse, they're giving hugs. They're, that's their friend. That's their friendship circle, too. So it's it's. It's amazing. <laughs> These horses not only evoke feelings from riders that they might not know they had, they're also there to perhaps teach them about themselves. She says they're great for troubled teens. We've had some that parents have come about, we're having a hard time in school, she's getting in trouble all the time, and you know, kind of setting up a, a session even on the ground where we give them a little bit of a strong-headed horse. And, you know, how does it feel when, when the horse doesn't listen? How do you think your parents feel when you don't listen? They've also been able to provide a sense of peace for veterans struggling with PTSD. Annie started to see the potential they have to touch the lives of those fighting cancer when two moms, both diagnosed with breast cancer, started bringing their daughters for lessons. I'll never forget the one said, um, you know, I don't know why, but I just love the smell. And I just, you know, can I stay in the barn and brush one of them while she's riding? And I said, yeah, that's great. So when they started going through the, the difficulties with their battles with cancer, they wanted to start getting involved. They didn't know why, but they did. And, and that was really the push for me to start the cancer program. Um, the one mother we were a week away from getting her she decided she wanted to try and get on a horse she wanted to get on and we were a week away before she went into hospice and lost her battle annie is so committed to sharing her animals with those who need their love she's started bringing a herd to local nursing homes and disability centers she's constantly building and expanding services and adding equipment so that more and more people can experience embrace and enjoy the equines. Coming up, we're gonna hear from a few folks about the impact these animals have had on their lives. The Marvel Life will be right back.